So there might be um, fireworks going off periodically behind uh, me because it's the 4th of July and my neighbors are pyromaniacs. <laughs> they, there was a lot of fireworks earlier. It may have died down. I'm not sure. Ah, so on to what I was going to talk about. So I watched, because I, I like to watch on the 4th of July a movie with the title, with the word American or America or USA or something, you know, patriotic in the title. Uh, last Sometimes I just do rewatches. Like last year I rewatched American Gigolo and the year before that I did American World in London because I love both those movies. But this year I was like, what is a female directed film? There's a firework with the, you know, title with America in it. And I was like, oh yeah, I just remembered that I found how to make an Ameri American quilt on YouTube to rent. So that's what I rented. I want to start off by reading the cast, like the whole cast, because this cast is amazing. So there's Kate Capshaw, there's Wayne Ryder, there's Dermot Mulrooney, Ellen Burstyn, Anne Bancroft, Maya Angelou, Alfre Woodard, Lois Smith, Gene Simmons, not Gene Simmons the rocker, but Gene Simmons, Spartacus, Gene Simmons, uh, Kate Nelligan, Nelligan, I'm not sure how to say her name, Rip Torn, Jonathan Seich, whose last name I cannot pronounce, but he was in, um, he's like the jerk in That Thing You Do. Samantha Mathis, she's really good in this. I'll, I'll, I will be talking about her a lot. Uh, Melinda Dillon. Wait, there's more, there's more. Joanna Going. Richard Jenkins. Gail Strickland. Jared Leto. Claire Danes. Holland Taylor. And, uh, oh, there was one more. Where'd it go? And Esther Roll, who Esther Roll was in a bunch of films starting in, when was it? Like way back. She was so good in this. Ah, uh, starting in the 70s. She was fantastic. So, uh, and then Gene Simmons, like, she just recently died, if I remember correctly. Yeah, about five years ago. Wow, that's not recent anymore. But, um,. She was acting, like, up until 2009. Wow. Okay. So, giant cast. Amazing. I'm crying. I'm sorry. Uh, cause, no, I'm not crying because I'm thinking about the movie. I'm crying because the light is... Anyways, and there's breeze, and I'm just... My eyes hate the world. So, I'm watching this movie. I've not read the book, but I think I almost bought it at a bookstore, and then I was like, I should watch the movie first, <laughs> and then see if I want to buy the book. <laughs> That really was my thought. Um, so I don't own the book yet, but I'll probably go back to the bookstore and buy it now because I really liked this movie. Um, so that's the cast. The crew includes music by Thomas Newman, who also did Little Women, and he always uses oboes, and I love that. Jill Bilcock, who did Moulin Rouge and I think all of um, um, Baslerman's films, and it was shot by... Janice Kamiz Kaminsky, who, you know, did, like, Saving Private Ryan three years later. Um, I guess it was nominated for a Screen Actors Guild Award. Hold on. Let's see if I can find this. Do, do, do. Yeah, it was nominated. All these women lost to Apollo 13, apparently. Anyways, shoot, I lost the page, I lost the page. So, um, oh my god, I lost what I was looking at, I'm sorry. So I'm watching this movie, and it's great because, it, first of all, the main characters are eight women, several of whom have younger versions of them, so it's like somewhere, plus there's like other daughters and things, there's like, there's like 15 women, 20 women in this movie, and then a handful of men that you're just like, meh. You know, like, like her fiancé is Dermot Mulrooney, and he's got, like, three scenes, and, and who cares? Um, so the point is, she's working on her master's degree, and she decides to go live with her um, great-aunt and, and grandma for the summer, like she used to do when she was a girl, because her mom was a hippie, Kate Capshaw, and finish this damn thesis. <laughs> it's, it's like the War of 1812 out here. Um, so she's finishing the thesis. 
she's also thinking about if she wants to marry Dermot Mulrooney. Um, and in doing so, because the sewing, the quilting bee is making her like engagement quilt there. Um, the theme for the quilt is love, so they all tell her about their various love affairs. And some of them are like doomed love affairs, and some of them, like the one I thought was particularly poignant, is Maya Angelou's, where she um, realizes what she really needed in life was her daughter, and that was it. But my favorite um, was the Samantha Math Mathis character. I don't normally like Samantha Mathis. I think she's terrible in Little Women. But in this, she was so heartbreaking. Um, so she plays a kind of a free spirit woman in the like 40s who um, likes to dive because she likes the, the feeling of falling. And she catches the eye of a visiting college student. This is supposed to be in the Central Valley Bay Area-ish area, like maybe the North North Bay. Um, so the college student's probably from Berkeley. And he basically promises to take her away and then, because he's a geologist, and then he totally straps her with three kids and never takes her away. And then she gets bitter because she wanted a better life and she's stuck with nothing. And then it just gets worse and worse and like she can't send her daughter to college and it's just super depressing and then uh her spoiler alert uh her husband just like leaves when she's got like a teenager and two young kids and it's and she just like knew it was gonna happen eventually surprising that it took so long um it was just really heartbreaking because it's, it's supposed to be sort of a representation of all the women in that era who their only way out of like a small town would be to get married and then sometimes you know you have that promise and then and then it leads to nothing and you wonder why some people end up super bitter that's why um but she sort of rediscovers her love of diving through the Winona Ryder character and I thought that was a really nice sort of circle um my my only sort of complaint about the entire movie well there's two things okay one, I think it was a little too kind on some of the men, especially like the one character where she's married to an artist and he cheats and that's what artists do. And and um, she's finally going to leave him, like Gene Simmons, she's finally going to leave him and then she doesn't because she sees his art and reminds her of the love they have. And I'm, I just don't buy that. I don't think that, maybe this is a young and naive opinion, but I don't think that love is enough for to sacrifice your entire life and happiness you just don't um sometimes you love somebody and you have to leave anyways so that was kind of depressing um and then two at least two of the characters get knocked up after having sex the first time now i get that this was earlier in the days and they didn't have the pill but they and they you know were in situations where a condom did not happen but not everybody who has unprotected sex, even back then, had a baby right away. And it's like one of those like myths in film and literature that's like you have sex once, <laughs> um, you're either you either die or you have a baby, and that's it. Um, so I hate that. I wish they would stop using that in art. Uh, anyway, but regardless of that. I really loved this movie. Um, I kind of want like a whole film about the Samantha Mathis character. Like I would watch the shit out of that movie. Um, yeah, so this is for rent on YouTube for $3. It's very good. Uh, I guess the critics were sort of split at the time. I don't really know why they didn't like it. Um, they felt a lot of feels. Um, I don't know. I just feel like it's a very women positive, quasi feminist, just sort of amazing film about the strength of women and the power of women together, which I think is important. So that was, uh, I didn't say who directed it. I fail at this. This is Jocelyn Morehouse's How to Make Ameri an American Quilt. It's from 1995. You can rent it on YouTube. You should watch it and then cry like I did. And try not to die from fire. <laughs>